Hello and welcome to MidnightSilverCrafters.com. My name's Steve and I'll be your host. This is a casting that I made. And I made this on this with this casting machine that I'm about to show you. Okay. Now, um, if you want to get into jewelry casting today, I'm going to show you a real easy, cheap way you can get into jewelry casting. Now, this video today is going to be about the actual casting machine itself. Now, this is just going to be a short video today. But now this is what you'd want to do if you if you are new to casting and and you want to get into jewelry casting and you want to cast some rings and some jewelry at home. Um, this is the cheapest way that you can do this. Okay, now what what we're looking at right here. Okay, now this this thing I I know this thing is really nasty looking and it's it's got. It's really dirty. It's got silicone smeared all over it and everything else. But I, I'm, I just want to show you something. I want to show you how you can make you a, a, a really good casting machine for 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 dirt cheap. In fact, it, the casting machine part of it isn't going to cost you really anything. Okay. But what you do is. You go on eBay and you buy one of these. Now, what this is, you see, this is just a, a this is a stainless steel. Uh, what, what this is, this is a is a vacuum chamber. Okay, it, it's uh, you, what you do is when you're making your molds, you know these type of molds. Okay, you you put your your molds in here. And you suck the air out of your investment. You you suck you first you put your investment in here and you suck the air out of it. And then you put your mold in here with your investment poured in and you do it again, and that's how you get all the air sucked out of your investment. But you buy this this piece right you this whole unit right here, it's about seventy dollars. Okay, now it comes with it comes with this lid. Of course, it's going to be brand new and it's not going to look like this, obviously. But it it comes with this lid, okay, and it comes with this uh, this gauge right here and these valves on it and everything. But now this is just a vacuum chamber, okay. But what what I'm going to show you is you can, you can take this thing. And you can modify this thing. See, it, it comes with this hose and everything. It hooks right to your vacuum pump. All right, now you're, you're going to need a vacuum pump. But a vacuum pump is, you know, not not much money. 150 bucks will get you the, the two-stage Harbor Freight vacuum pump, which is perfect for casting jewelry in, in this system. But, but... So this is this is like seventy dollars. I think I paid seventy. It might have went up a little bit, but around sixty-five or seventy bucks. You can buy this unit, okay? This vacuum chamber. But all I did to this, I just drilled a hole in the in the top of this thing. I just drilled a good size hole. See, you can see that hole right there. Yeah, I know it looks nasty and everything, but that I just drilled a hole there, and I put I put I got like a piece of like a piece of wood on here. Okay, I've used this a whole bunch. I, I've had all different size molds on it and everything, but I, I'm I'm making a brand new one, and I got it sitting right here. I'm going to show you in a minute what i'm what i'm working on this is just the old one i'm just showing you this to give you the idea to tell you how you can do it but all you do is you drill a hole in this thing and you put a little piece of wood on there okay right here is a, just a thin little piece of wood and then you put like a little gasket okay now what i found that works great 
for a gasket. Let's see if I can show you. If you look at these, I, I got all these at a thrift store for like 20 cents or something. But all these are, it's, it's cardboard, okay? It's just a die cut. So cardboard, that's all it is, okay? Now you wouldn't think cardboard is going to make a good gasket. Because you got it, you got to remember uh, when you're talking about the gasket part of it here that you're going to set this mold down on top of here. All right, here here's a mold. I just got this mold right there to show you. See right there's this this sprue. This hasn't been burned out. This was an old mold. Sit, it's been sitting around, but it's probably still good. But I wouldn't use it, but it's probably still good. But I'm just showing you, you know how you how you do this. But you just you just get your mold. But so your mold's coming right out of your oven, and it's really hot. Of course, you're going to be holding this, you know, with something, you know, and you're going to have gloves on because this thing is super super hot. Directly out of your oven, and you just set it right on here. You just set it down on this gasket and turn your vacuum pump on and look at your gauge and your get when your gauge is up see you you don't want to cast until you got real good vacuum on it so you're gonna you're gonna wait till your vacuums way over here when you got good vacuum okay actually your molds gonna be this way you set that down and when you got real good vacuum on your gauge, you pour your metal right in, right in your mold, and it, and that's it. That's it. so you can cast your jewelry with this little unit right here. All you got to do is drill a hole, like I said, right there. I'm I'm saying it again. I, yes, I'm repeating myself. Drill your hole. Put your little piece of wood under there. And, and find you a good gasket. Now, these gaskets, these little cardboard gaskets work perfect. Okay, instead of silicone, you know, you wouldn't think this would work that good, but it does. And, and they're so cheap, and it's just, you could use a, probably a cereal box and cut you a piece of cardboard for your gasket, but it really works good. Or if you want, you can get some silicone whatever high temperature silicone but i'm just saying this little paper gasket cardboard gasket is all i all i use on this thing but that's it and you just as simple as that put your bolt on vacuum pump on and pour your metal when everything's ready but that's what you can do, and it's, you know, now this thing, you buy this brand new for around 70 bucks or so, and now you're going to, you're going to need this, you're going to need this to suck the air out of your investment. If you don't suck the air out of your investment, you're going to have problems, and you're not going to be able to finish your, your piece. Here's a, here's a ring. Let me see if I can get this to zoom in. Let's see. There's a ring. Now, if you see right here on this ring, if you can see it, there's a little, see that little spot right there? That little round, looks like a little round bead, like a little, right there, a little BB, it looks like. What that is that was an air pocket see now when you don't suck the air out of your investment you're going to get you're going to get these on your pieces and you see some of some of them you won't be able to finish see it'll be real hard if not impossible to finish your parts this is just a, a casting i made it right on this but see now this is this ring this is not the best casting in the world but it'll it'll finish up all right I'll, I'll tool that down and it'll, it'll be it'll look it'll look beautiful when I'm done with it. But that's this is what you got to do. All right, you just just get you this uh, get you this unit right here, 
and you use it, you use it to suck your air out of your investment, and then you can use it for casting. You can cast right on the top. Now, this is plastic, okay, and this is not the ideal material, you know, for this, but it does work, and just, you know, be careful with this, with this, when you do this. But what I'm going to show you, what I'm doing, what I'm working on is, I got my name on here, Midnight Silver Crafters. Now what I'm going to do, I, I made this piece right here. Now what this is, this is, a, is just a piece of thick glass. I also, um, I also do uh, glass work. I also do um, glass cutting and uh, I, I act, actually, this is uh, sand blasted. It's it's carved on there with a, with a sandblaster. You can see that, but it looks real nice. But what what I'm gonna do? I made this piece. Now this is made out of glass. Okay. Now I, I made this piece, and I'm gonna make a mold. I'm gonna make a silicone mold off of this glass piece. And then I'm going to cast these and I'm going to make these plates, okay? And I'm going to sell these plates so that if you want to, if you want, if you got a system like this and you want to do this, instead of messing your top piece up, you can just leave it as it is and then you can just buy this plate that I'm going to make. It's not going to, it's going to be made out of a special material that's much better to handle heat okay than than this plastic and it's you know it's going to just have a, a hole here in the middle and it's going to have a, a, a gasket on it and it's going to seal down and all you're going to do is same thing but you just put your mold right here it's going to have a hole in it but i'm just going to sell these plates and i'm going to make them you know as reasonable as i can make them you know, but, um, it, you know, that's all you got to do is just get one of these plates. I'm going to put them on my website for sale when I get them ready. Uh, you know, it's kind of a slow process with things, that, you know, right now. But that's what I'm working on. So when I get the plates ready, I'll let everybody know. And you can, you can buy one of these plates. And they're, like I said, I'm going to try to make them pretty cheap. But... If you don't want to buy a plate and, you know, until it's ready, all you got to do, you know, you can just get this and you're good to go. But I just wanted to show everybody that you can cast jewelry without a real expensive, you know, a casting machine will cost you about a thousand bucks, but this right here. This right here will do exactly everything a casting machine does. It'll suck the air out of your investment, and it will allow you to cast your molds right, right on top of this. If you don't mind drilling a hole in this plastic piece, and if you're careful with it, I've casted a whole lot of molds right on top of this. I've got other uh, vacuum tables and you know that I've made for casting and stuff, but this this works great. And I just wanted to show everybody this is the, the best way to go, cheapest way to go starting out. So if you want to start casting, go buy you one of these on eBay for seventy bucks. Drill your hole in it, put your gasket on it, and you can start casting some jewelry simple as that now if you know anything about this channel i use i use food cans you know but um that's all this is it's just a little eight ounce food can it's all you need you can put a lot of rings in one of these little food cans but i want to show you these rings right here these are rings that i've made uh on this exact the vacuum chamber that you're looking at right here so uh this this is proof that you can you can really cast jewelry right on top of this little vacuum chamber. But if you're new, uh, I appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Uh, I, I teach everything pretty much from start to finish as far as uh, 
silversmithing and jewelry making and jewelry casting. I've got over 53 videos that you can watch and uh, I'm, you know, always putting out more videos, of course. So, all right. Well, uh, I, I think I'm going to wrap this one up, but I just would like to say that uh, if you haven't joined my Facebook jewelry group, uh, it'd be a great uh great thing for you to do because you can uh, learn a lot there's a lot of people over there in the facebook group and we're all you know just sharing ideas and sharing information and making jewelry and talking about jewelry so uh if you're into jewelry making i, I think it'd be good to uh subscribe to my uh facebook jewelry group it's uh the link's down in the description but uh, if you do want to describe, uh, subscribe, excuse me, to the channel, if you would just put a little comment down in the comment box and put I subscribed, uh, I think that would be awesome and I'd really appreciate it. So, all right, I'm going to wrap this one up here. My name's Steve and I'll talk to you in the next video.